The opioid crisis is something we talk about a lot. We discuss how jails are getting filled up and people are losing their lives. But this story is different. This is a story of recovery. I met up with a local woman who's getting her life back with the help of the court system. Alicia is a stay-at-home mom of four <laughs> boys under the age of eight. For Easter, we decided to go up to Chalice and we went fishing instead of doing like traditional Easter stuff because making memories is better than just buying material things. But just over a year ago when we met Alicia, she was not able to make those memories as she was in prison for a felony drug charge. I missed all my kids' birthdays. I missed Christmas. I missed Thanksgiving. It's rough, isn't it? and I'm going to have to go back and make up that time. She was sent to prison after getting kicked out of drug court and even gave birth to her youngest child while behind bars. But she had big hopes. My biggest goal is to stay sober for my family. And the better I take care of myself, the more that my kids can be taken care of. Now she's been out of prison for 15 months and has reached her goals. In just a few days, she will be two years sober. Am I going to want to live like this for the rest of my life? Am I going to want to wake up and have to take pills every single day or find heroin or find like some sort of drug or anything just to live on like why would I want to do that so that's when I decided to change my life she credits her success to the power county drug court in the counseling and group sessions that go along with it you have people to reinforce you to make you like let you know you are doing good you are doing the right thing and let you know that on a weekly basis. She now goes to drug court on her own will, and the judge who originally sent her to prison now says that Alicia has had a change of heart. The reward to me is just seeing her be a mother and a wife, and she's responsible and she's healthy. And more important than anything, she's happy, which really has a lot to do with being in recovery. Alicia says serving others helps her stay sober, so she is constantly helping other people in drug court. Whether it be rides to and from meetings or for doctor's appointments, she's essentially taken on a mother role in, in this drug court. The best piece of advice that Alicia says Judge Lagus has ever given her is to not make mountains out of molehills. If you have a little problem, you know, keep it little. Don't let it blow up and turn into a big problem that leads to a relapse or some other rule violation. And we can all apply that in our lives. The lowest point of drug addiction is something Alicia knows firsthand, <laughs> but she wants other people to know there is hope. Don't listen to people that say that you're worthless or that you don't deserve to have a good life, because you do. You have a lot of potential, and there's lots of people that can help you. Alicia says one of the biggest things that has helped her is realizing it is okay to ask for help.